What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. I see now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. That we'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. That Freya would punish us. Mayhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip. Plummeted from quite a height. Crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Hadarok. He's over there. What can a bloke from Ard Skellig know about Hundvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind Dan Dyer. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wilt looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along, you sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander, with a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. 
With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. To the modest abode Whose corners are To my dog with his pipe To my two boys, my love To the alcove wherein lies my feet So as my strength wanes And my breath shorter grows And my sin Turn stiff, and my blood's coursing slows. It's time, high time, I was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners I rode. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man, another one. And so many times I've told him, What's that you say, Wilfred? Aye, right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar. Wilfred's to his right. And the lad with the stutters, Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. Your Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik, heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you. Me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, 
Whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on Crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. They recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Scavengers got to this one. Didn't even manage to draw his sword. Severed artery. Bled to death in seconds. Throat torn open by claws. Sirens. Several men dragged a boat north. Two people came through here, separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Hmm. Probably planned to repair it. Yalmar's man. Blood to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. Lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. Another track. Didn't come back for his arrows. Neckers slowed the pursuer. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Got hit here first, but kept going. Kept going, though he could barely walk. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Took a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? The horn to drive away the sirens. Might come in handy. Trolls. Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Whoa! 
something? as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Let's get out of here. You all right? Ugh. Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Elmar! I'm curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New King will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young Ankrate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag. Finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it. If not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. 
heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears, failed to hear our warning calls, steered us right into the rocks, lost a few men, had to drag the wounded on letters, and the sirens pestered us the whole while Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship, then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves about the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. The Undvik Massacre, they call it. No exaggeration there. Signs of a battle. They fought the giant here. They ran toward the caves. Giant chased them. Went this way. Blood. Lots of it. Another track. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Need to find another way. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Hmm. It's deep enough. Shouldn't hit bottom. Clean cut. Head probably went flying. Fought to the bitter end. Thorst. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. Caved in. Eric Stormson. Didn't even know him well. Shot half a quiver into her.
Oh, gods. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. Went this way. Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside. Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Good question. Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Those Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore him up good. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventure. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. <sighs>
Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. I'm telling you, plowing enormous horse son he is. Wonderful. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that, Uncrate! Let me out right now. Wait here. I'll look for the key. Let me out, quick! Shut your trap. I sat in a bloody troll cauldron with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. I knew we'd best him. <sighs> Viggy, you daft bastard.
<laughs> Where are the others? Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Whitehair's returned? What brings you to us? Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes. Finally. Poor Willem's ear will stay put. I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lots? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Your people have found shelter there, and you're still their leader. Oh, aye. They can come back now. Look alive, crew. We've got to hurry. Got a finisher? Oh, she'll be a lovely vessel. Perfect for a funeral. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed the giant. Won back on Vic, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Speakerog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. <laughs>